ain't a rap song, it's red pill rage. This ain't a rap song, mm -hmm. it's red pill rage. I'm about to Fuck okay, it's okay now. You got okay? You got okay? It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the truth. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Stack money, travel the world when you're getting it like that. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade sure. channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and notifications button. Let me know exactly what you think about this video in the comments. All right, today we're going to be talking about Joe Budden and Alpo Martinez. But first, we're going to be talking about Joe Budden. All right, when it comes to these celebrities, I don't know what's going on, but there is a reason why Shaq decided to retire as a celebrity because he says celebrities are losing their mind. And this Joe Button situation is a situation where it looks like he's losing his mind. Recently, Joe Button has had an altercation with his former co-host, Rory and Mar. All right. Now, what has happened here is Rory and Maul have went on and started their own podcast and Joe Button has replaced them two with two new co-hosts. But the Joe Button channel has started to decrease and the Rory and Maul channel has started to increase to the point where Rory and Maul just got a big $10 million deal. So now Joe Button is coming out in his latest interview on his channel. And he just has some things that he has to say that I think that this is a shock. Why is he doing it? Why is he saying it? Is he looking for clickbait? Is he looking for attention? But we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get right into it. Form? I'm by Fuck okay. It's okay now. You got okay? You got okay? How do I spread this news? How do I spread the word? I think you got to call the CEO. Yo, yeah, you listen. Gotta, you got to make sure it's okay. I like guys and girls. Spread the word. I'm down. Remember, this was the I've first time he returned to the Now, why would he come out and say that? Why is he coming out acting this way and saying these things? Well, you have to understand this. For one, I don't think that Joe Button is bisexual. I'm going to start off by saying that. I do not think that Joe Button is bisexual. What I think Joe Button is doing is he's having a midlife crisis on the internet. He's having a podcast crisis. What do I mean by podcast crisis? He has to do whatever he has to do to get the audience to look at him. And now we're living in a world where the alphabet community is winning right now. So anybody connected to the alphabet community seems to be winning or anyone that accepts the alphabet community seems to be winning. Look at how many guys are wearing dresses now. How many guys are saying that they used to be with a trans? How many guys are with trans? How many guys are starting to act real feminine and give into femininity, right? More than normal. Masculinity is completely out of the door. So for Joe Budden to come out to say that he is bi, I think that it is a clickbait. I do think that he's lying, but I think he's saying it because he knows that it's going to spark the attention of others. It's going to have people questioning, wondering, what is he talking about? Why is he saying it? Expect him to come out in a couple of days saying, I was only saying this for laughs. I was only saying this to play around. I was only saying that. But what he's going to do is put it out and wait to do that. Why is he going to wait to do it? Just to drag in the attention because he's losing the attention because of the situation that happened with Rory and Maul. Rory and Maul are starting to prosper more. It looks like they're doing good. It looks like they're getting a lot of views, but they just have to maintain it. Far as Joe Button, I don't know what to tell him, but this is definitely a sad situation that he will have to stoop this low in order to get some attention. The next story is going to go to drug boss Alpo Martinez killed in Harlem. All right. Mr. Martinez, 55 years old, who was immortalized in the film Paid in Full. If you guys ever seen the movie Paid in Full, it is a really, really, really good movie. But Alpo is the guy Alpo in the movie. OK, and what happened here is if you look, his truck was shot up at what? West 147th Street at 345 in the morning. Alpo was a cocaine dealer from New York to Washington, D.C. 
He was in a bloody drug ring decades ago and was shot and killed Sunday morning, according to high-ranking police officer. The police said the 55-year-old man was shot several times in the chest, chin, arm, while sitting in the driver's, driver's seat of his Dodge Ram. The police official who has spoken in the condition of the anonymity because of he was not authorized to disclose the information. Identified the man as Mr. Martinez, who exploits has immortalized in hip hop songs and the 2002 film Paid in Full. All right, what you have to understand is about Alpo Martinez. He was a drug lord that killed a lot of people. But during his time that he was a drug lord, a lot of people were dying. That's just how it was. Look at Frank Lucas. Look at all these drug king pins. Look at um, Pablo Escobar. Even Scarface the movie. That was fictionalized. People love these gangster type characters. But when it came to Alpo, Alpo was one of those guys that backstabbed a lot of his friends. But in the interviews, Alpos have said, hey, all of it was business. It was nothing personal at all. Now, what you're seeing here is the truck that he was shot at. And he was shot in his chest and his arms. Now, when I look at this truck, this truck is lifted. So if you look at these shots in the truck, these shots are real close together. They said it was a drive-by shooting. With a drive-by shooting, I'm expecting more of the truck to be shot up. Nothing was shot on the side. Nothing was shot in the front window. It doesn't even show that everything was in motion getting hit. All of these gunshots are literally right here in the same position, if you guys can see. To me, that's just a marksman. Only a marksman can get up and do that. Only someone that knows how to shoot a gun is going to be able to keep the gun that steady. Now, I have a lifted truck. So when I look at this truck as being lifted, obviously the gunshots did not come from a car or a SUV. Even if even if you were in an SUV and the, and the truck was moving, there is no way you're going to hold the gun that steady in order to shoot it that clearly through a lifted truck. A lifted truck is still six inches higher than a regular truck. But these shots look like they're actually coming down. So to me, I just think with him being an informant and he was, he killed a lot of people, only got 24 years and he was in protective custody under a different name of Abraham. So I think this is a situation where possibly they had him taken out because he knew too much information as to what was going on or he just, his past caught up to him. You know, he kept roaming around Harlem. Harlem is one of those places where he was hated at because of what he did with other people. So when it comes to Alpo Martinez, it's just another drug dealer case coming to a close. He went to prison, lived out his years, got out of prison, and he's been living the life that he wanted to live. He's been scratching off his bucket list. I actually think that maybe Alpo felt like this time was coming and he was trying to live out his life. All right. Um, this is just some quick Friday news. I will be dropping a vlog video from my second channel. Go over to my second channel if you want to see daily vlogs as to how I'm living outside of YouTube. So hopefully you guys are able to learn between the Joe Button situation and Alpo Martinez. Hasta la vista.